Hey guys, so I'm back to do my more detailed reason as to why I removed my locks. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I am combing them out because I wanted to go back to loose hair and I wanted to be able to style my hair in ways that I was not able to since I am wearing locks. So, if you're interested in the more detailed reasons why, stay tuned. Alright, so as I mentioned in my previous video, I have been dealing with some thinning on my sides and around the perimeter back here and on this side. And I don't think that was caused by any reason uh, of the loctician, but since my hair is on the finer side, I think over time, my locks were just thinning out naturally because that's how my strands are. Um, <clears throat> so with me experiencing that, I was just becoming a little more concerned. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I was thinking about interlocking or combining locks, but I had already made a decision that I didn't want to um, continue on in my journey. So, um, Just for overall health, as I was popping my locks each time I washed, I noticed that I had a lot of marrying at my roots where the they were sticking together. And as a result, I was breaking hairs from one lock um, as I was pulling them apart. And so what was ended up happening was I had more hair in one root bed than in the other root bed. And I thought about that, but over time that could really weaken the root bed and I could potentially lose a lock. And I wasn't really down with that. So um, that's another reason that I thought of to go ahead and comb them down. The weight of the locks. Um, I think we all know that with no hair shedding out of the locks, they get heavier over time. And I was experiencing the weight of my locks and I had been since like month five um, of my journey but the weight of them was causing a lot of stress as well on the root bed again my hair is fine in nature and so just that stress over time I thought would not be um, productive and efficient for my journey as it went along and eventually I could potentially lose a lock I wanted cleaner hair I mean I know that's kind of maybe superficial but we all know that lint is a part of the journey of having locks is synonymous with locks you have lint with locks um, and I was pretty surprised to see that over the past year I had accumulated so much lint in my locks um, even uh, in locks that were higher up on my head I would comb them down and realize that, wow, I had a whole bunch of lint stuck in those locks and I never knew it. So just being able to have cleaner hair, um, hair that um, is lint free, dust free for the most part, I know things get stuck in our hair, but for the most part, um, was really appealing to me. I never liked lint, I don't think anyone does. And um, I was very diligent during my journey to remove lint with tweezers. Me and my husband would get in there and pick it out and make sure that it was out. But um, as we all know, lint embeds itself really deep within the lock. And so it was still in there um, all this time. And so just to have cleaner hair uh, was something that I was really looking forward to having again. So. Those are my reasons. Um, I didn't want anybody to be confused as to why I was taking my locks down. I love my locks. Um, I could see myself locking again. Um, it wasn't about retaining so much length and stuff like that. It was never about that. It was purely because I missed my loose hair and I wanted to go back to something that was familiar to me and for the overall health of my hair. So. Um, coming up next, I will have a video either on the progress of my lock removal or it will be a video on essential oils for those of us who suffer with seborrheic dermatitis. So be looking out for one of those two videos coming up next. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.